Perry Wolf was the producer of a series called Adventure, which was done in cooperation with the American Museum of Natural History. Matter of fact, each of the scientists had an opportunity to do a, one program on the thing that they were working on, that they were most interested in. And if they had films, that was great. But if they needed films, they really needed, they were looking for a good film researcher. I loved research. I mean, I was a demon researcher, and, um, uh, and I still am. I mean, actually, uh, um, one of the strengths, I think, of films, uh, my films, they, what strengths they have, has a lot to do with, um, uh, with the, of all, of how much I love the research and how interesting it is and how satisfying it is to, to find something, you know, um, and of course, CBS really, I mean, gave me all kinds of support. And remember, we were going on a week every Sunday for an hour. That meant we needed three separate pieces. And many of those pieces needed visual material, among them film. Now, Perry's contribution became very prominent because after a while, we we would very often find that we could do a film on an aspect of anthropology or Inca civilization because Perry had located a film of some distinction that would, that would take us from our studio interview with maybe a few artifacts from the collection into the broader sense. Her experience was dealing with films that never had an opportunity in America for wide, wide usage. And they were very often now the keystone of what we might do. I was looking at films all the time. And as a matter of fact, I think uh, there's no question that that's how I learned. After a while, we began to realize that we could take a subject and say, Perry, is there anything on this? And she would begin to, to have access to extraordinary catalogs of European film things that none of us ever heard of and her avenue to researching with just a name or a subject was broader than any of our concepts. So after a while, she became a real linchpin in really what we were going to program. I remember people saying, you could make films. And I had two children. January 1st, 1954, I met Neil Adato. During the time I was at CBS for 10 years, from uh, about 50, uh, 53 to 64, I had two children, first Lori, and then a little over three years after that, Michelle. And I knew that I could be a film researcher. But um, people say, but you know, you were a film researcher for you know, 10, 13, 14 years. Didn't you want to make films? I knew that if you, when you became a producer, the buck stops here. As a film researcher, I could work from home a certain amount of time. I could work three days a week, which is ideal. I mean, working three days a week when you have children is just ideal. And I was able to do it. And um, I remember Perry Wolf saying, Perry Miller Adatto's three days are like somebody else's five. So I was being paid for three days, but I was working five, which of course was, was true. The fact is that, uh, I know that in some ways that it must have been difficult for you. The fact is that I was not there to do certain things that mothers did besides, you know, baking cookies and a lot of other things driving you here and there. Uh, so I, I just wondered, you know, I've always sort of wondered about that, and I think that um, people have asked me, um, and I wonder what you, <laughs> what you had to say on the subject. Did you feel at times that it'd be nice, nicer to have your mother at home more? Or was it uh, convenient in a way you could watch more television because I wasn't around? We got to watch like all of those, you know, Beverly Hillbillies and Lost in Space and the Addams Family. And yeah, we got a couple of good, good hours of TV in before dinner. To be honest, Mom, I don't have a recollection, and it's very possible I, there were times that I felt that way when I was a child, but I really don't have a recollection of feeling like um, I wish that, you know, that my mother, my, that my mother's not around enough, that, uh, because I think your career was always just a very natural part of our family. I mean, you always worked, and it was something that we were 
um, proud of in a certain sense, and um, it was just kind of the norm in a way for us. Yeah, Perry was wonderful. She was, you know, working and came home a certain hour, but uh, she was a very loving mother and giving mother, you know, and, and it was the best part of her life in a way to have the children. Oh, so, of course, and <laughs> of course. That's, you know, the, that's the way I always felt and that's the way I saw it. So as a professional, she really gave quite a bit in spite of the fact that she had to do her work, you know, and she wasn't all hours. That's, you can see it, you know, that's so, uh, why there is so much love around here, you know. You can enjoy your work and you can love your work uh, and you can be a pretty, pretty good mother. But I think, I think that women who have young, young children, uh, at least I always felt guilty. I always felt guilty. Actually, we were both married women. Perry had two, I had three children. Our husbands were supportive, but not always supportive. In fact, they were supportive, but not always so happy about the fact that we were both busy. We had our job, we had our children, we marketed, we cooked, we took care of the household, and it was a lot of work. I mean, many, many women do that now. At that time, it wasn't as popular. And that was, we did talk a lot about that. I was at CBS. I worked on uh, uh, After Adventure. I worked on uh, Seven Lively Arts, a film called, and a, a, a series called Conquest. Uh, and they were all uh, very interesting programs. And I was film researcher and, and you know, happy doing it. Um, and then um, at CBS, I got an idea for a, f uh, uh, for a program called Portrait of the Artist as an Old Man. Lovely title. And the idea was that uh, creativity is not affected by age, something I must say I like the idea very much, especially now. The live shooting, we were going to do Steichen, who at that time was already, I guess, in his 80s, and Jacques Lipschitz, and Lotte, Lotte Lehmann, but they would not let me be director. It was uh, Craig Gilbert, the famous, who became famous with the American family. So Craig was director and I was co-producer and everything was going fine and then we're getting ready to, and Steichen says, oh, you can't use that. I'm not gonna be in a film whose title is Portrait of the Artist is an Old Man. You know, I am not an old man. And uh, Lipschitz said, I am not 75 years old. I am 75 years young. So I came up with, the best is yet to be. I didn't think of myself as a director yet. Women simply did not think of themselves very much as directors. You could be a lot of other things, but you know, you didn't think of being, becoming a director. 